<laughs> it crashed again, huh? It crashed again. Okay. Okay, now my stream should be... Okay. It should be okay now. Sorry about that. Gosh. Um... You you were saying, Vigor, you were playing Cult of the Lamb while watching. And you are uh, farming for Gautius. Ooh, good luck with that. Yes, it is down again. Apparently, uh, apparently, yeah, my PC is not that good enough for Live 2D. But that's okay. I'll I'll figure something else. I am trying to use um what is it called again? Huh? Um for the PNG tube using PNG a uh, static static picture for my stream. I I was just trying out um live 2D because I already have the um the model for it so i thought why not why not use it for the stream okay um oh god okay so um okay <laughs> man what a disaster this stream is okay so bigger um how far are you in call of the lamb and tell us a little bit about your week. Hey, also, I heard that there's a huge wildfire in Greece. In Alexander... Alexandria police? Am I... am I... am I right about that? Yeah, I should I should change my title into something else. Um what should the title be? <laughs> I know. Hey, um, uh, I should, uh, the stream info should update, is it already updated on my end? Okay, um, interesting. Also, um, there is a lot of things that I've, I've planned for the stream. I want to update my stream notification sound especially for those that have read i need to make um some chat comment i think i think if you if you type exclamation mark command it should give you some some commands uh okay there it is uh, if you type exclamation mark commands, you can find all of the available comments that are available on my channel. Um, so yeah, that's I've managed to do a little bit of work, bit here and there, but yeah, I've been I've been this week. Oh my god! But okay, stream on your end are bugging out. You will be back in a bit because it, it might be your internet. Oh no, I'm so sorry about that, Vigor. Oh no. But hey, that's okay. I'm gonna be here. Uh, 
it should be okay on my end because um, I've already turned off all of the um, live 2D stuff, which is really resource intensive. I'm quite shocked by it. How do people stream that? Then again, people have much more <laughs> people have much more stronger um, PC than mine. Maybe that's why. <clears throat> also, where were where was I? Um, yeah, this week. Um, yeah, last week. Um, if you remember, um, last two week actually. Um, I've said that I'm a little bit. I am feeling a little bit under the weather. I had this throbbing headache. Um, it's like I couldn't function at all, and then. Um, last week, um, the same problem persists, but I tried to push, and, oh god, oh god, okay, what was that noise? Interesting. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> um, it shouldn't be doing anything. Thing. okay where was i um so yeah i i tried to push last week and played um uh, do the stream as usual <clears throat> it was only on monday last this uh in this week on monday i realized that <laughs> my my tooth my wisdom tooth at the top right hand corner is swollen as hell oh my god no wonder i felt so off it turns out that whenever your wisdom tooth is acting up i should have checked that i should have checked that because it is really really it's something major because <laughs> It's not something that um uh, makes my whole face swollen, but it is it is swollen enough so that you it affects your stability, your uh basically your ability to function. So that's what happened. So this week I literally had to do some resting and yeah um i still had to do some work a, a little bit here and there but most of the time i just focus on resting um and then take some um anti-inflammatory medicine um drink lots of fluid what else um also i did um some of the work on stream on my stream and then what else i'm not even sure what i did uh but yeah that's what happened on with me this week it's been <laughs> it's been quite quite a week uh i have to say but i'm glad that i took a little bit of a time to have a little bit of a rest uh also um to make things worse um i did say that i am doing a gardening right i am doing gardening <laughs> um i had a uh, a fungal infestation with my plant most probably because it has been raining and there's not a lot of sun so there's a a, a lot of humidity um in the air so that contributes to the fungal attack on my plants so i've been trying hydrogen peroxide spray on my plant in doesn't seem to be working so i am i just did something today which is using baking soda to hopefully hopefully remove the fungal 
uh, fungal fungal spores by making it by making the pH on the leaves uh, unhospitable for the fungal for the fungus. So fingers crossed. I hope that it's gonna be working. But for now, um, let's <laughs> man. I um been <laughs> been uh a challenge this stream has been so far. Okay, let's continue on. What am I gonna do again? I already forgot. Um okay. So we are on day 62. We have two portals that we need to destroy, which I guess is on the right. Because we already light the lighthouse on this island, so that means um one of the side is cleared. Also, last time we got a new mount, which is good. We still need a little bit of money. I think we just finished um, the winter season on this on this land. Also, I did I did something on this um, game, which is okay. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Should I make it that zoom in, or can I? Yeah, let's let's do that. I don't want it to be too zoom in. I guess we haven't gone winter hasn't been finished since the water the water isn't um flowing just yet and we still have the berry bushes so that's really concerning Ooh, I remember this. The lady... Okay, so we have the Dracula right now. It allows us to change form into a bat. The king... Is... Uh, its ability is to make ice. And to slow down the enemy forces. The lady... The demon lady is... Uh, she has a whip. So that's one of the our abilities. Somehow there's chicken. Chicken in my <laughs> in my kingdom. Odd. <gasps> Winter is over. Yeah, winter is over, the water is flowing, the grass is growing, yes! Okay, now we just have to... We just have to go. Okay, I'm just gonna do some... Um, round uh, and see which just to double confirm whether or not I I did the right thing or not
Okay, so I... Uh, the left side is clear, so... That's good. I love the Dracula characters so much. And you know what? I have to sacrifice this um, camp for a bit. Mostly because I need some space for my hunters to hunt. Uh uh uh. Your job is finished, knight. Is the music low for you guys? Sounds like it is low. This mount is officially stuck. <laughs> it has, even though it has the ability to create temporary walls, but due to its low movement, low movement, and low stamina, I don't think it is gonna be my favorite mount to have. I would personally prefer a much agile mount. Okay, so now um, we just need to fix up the ship, I guess. Since it's already night time. Because of my interve intervention there, it's making my knights having a little bit of a problem getting kills there. So, hmm. Give me money! <laughs> okay... I should prioritize uh, clearing up the forest. But before I even do that, let's do as much as... 
as much part as possible to fix the ship. Um, yeah, okay. Um, let's do this then. Okay, officially ran out of coins. But you guys should have some money for me, right? Okay, the rest of you guys should go and run into the camp. Let me do some reconnaissance. Is that a word? I don't know. I just said something. Okay, the monsters are here. The zombies are coming. Wains. Nice. Ooh, nice. And I miss the griffin. The griffin is like the perfect mount for me because it is fast. It recharges easily because you don't have to rely on grass. Overall, it's a good mount to have. Okay, we managed to fix the ship. Okay, um, since it is like really... It's not late, but if I try to have my um, worker try to expand on this side it's gonna be a little bit too late so I'm just gonna do gonna have a look out here so this is the portal do we have any lingering diamonds no we don't so we managed to milk this um Melt this land dry of its diamond resource. So, okay. Okay. I guess we should proceed on with the next island then.
Man, it's even slower in the forest. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna wait until all of the people come back into the kingdom walls and then we collect as much money as possible from them and then we actually I am gonna call people to go inside boat right now There we go, there, there we go, we have a lot of coins. Then we are gonna go get the... Where is it? The, the, the shepherd? Is that? No, not the shepherd. This lady. Now we just have to wait for this to do first night to come into our boat and then we should be good to go onto the next island. Whoops. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Okay, let's go. Actually, yeah, let's go. Oh man, we have a Komodo dragon. Ooh, what's that? It looks like a dragon. The one below the Komodo dragon. Okay, let's go. Man, it's really far. Okay, not that far. Okay. <laughs> okay, first... First thing to do is to... Clear up the forest. You're back, big girl. Welcome back. Hello, hello. How far are you into the game? Call of the Lamb. I see that you are farming God Tears, so I'm assuming you have been really far into the game. Have you unlocked all of the ritual? And you had your best crusade ever! Ooh, nice! was crazy what weapon were you using in that crusade ok 
Okay, I see a diamond chest already. Just gonna go and have a look. Oh, oh my god, the portal are... The portal is already activated. Okay, so I have to be careful. The weapon was Godly Gauntlet. Ooh, lucky you. You had it from the start of the crusade and never changed it. And what made it crazy was your tarot card and relics. Nice. What kind of tarot card do you have? Is it the... Uh, increase attack rate something like that got a pick and let me send you the link there are three picks okay we'll do we'll do Okay, at least I have to protect this grandma. So this side has two knights, this one has one. Okay, so I can create two barrier at a time, so that is really helpful to know. Yeah, I have to sacrifice one of the camp. Okay, that is the first link, is how far you made it, okay. Uh, I am gonna take a look at it in a little bit. Okay, so we have another of this character. I'm not sure. Maybe I won't get a nice mount on this island. Dude, okay, um... Our mount is already tired, huh? Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's the Komodo dragon, okay. I'm not sure if the Komodo dragon is better or not. And they do need diamond. You know what, for the sake of it, I am gonna try and find uh okay a diamond chest we have a diamond chest here oh shoot okay um uh oh i shouldn't have done that actually Um, I made a mistake. I hovered a little bit too long onto the normal chest. Okay, let's get the Komodo Dragon. Come on. Okay. Then what we are gonna do is oh shoot, um, get back all of the money that we left behind. Okay, we have a Komodo dragon. We have um copper mine that we can unlock. 
What's up with the blob on top of the map there? Okay. So, here's the plan. We are gonna go and run until our Komodo dragon is too tired to carry us. And then we are gonna change into our bed and then run. Nice. Oh shoot, okay, um, our mount is still tired. Okay, the good thing here is that there's only one thing that we only need to unlock on the right side. So that's good. Oh shoot, okay, um... Okay, while we are here, let's um, have a look at what Bigger had for his crusade in Cult of the Lamb. Um, let me do this. Uh, let's copy. And the second one. Ooh, you have a lot. You have a lot of uh, resource that you had. You went Anura and went all the way through. Nice. I can see that. Nice, nice, nice. You managed to get two additional followers and then... Uh, yeah, I can see that you have a lot of resource ooh and no damage from the boss nice the the no damage thing is really really good on your part because you had an uh, a godly weapon gauntlet right yeah godly gauntlet so that's good lucky you what kind of uh let's see the second Ooh, oh my god, you are lucky. You have a lot of relic. Two relic that can poison and two I don't I don't know what is the red eye. What is the function of the red eye again? I know the green eye is supposed to poison. And the third you will send it now. Oh, Eye of Lashy is just damage. Ah. Okay, okay, that's good. Additional damage is good, really good. And you have two. Two of each for poison and for damage. Nice. Lucky you then. And you managed to do it all in under 30 minutes. Nice. You've come so far, Vigor. <laughs> I think you only start playing the game like what? Two weeks ago? Two to three weeks ago? And look at how far you have come. Ooh, that's a lot of tarot card. Two, four, six, eight, and eleven. Eleven 
11 tarot card. You basically had them all. <laughs> okay, that's really good on your part. And you have a fleece that can recover your hearts, that, that can heal yourself. That's good. That means you are really unstoppable, huh? Nice, nice, nice. And then let's go into the game. Okay. Okay, everyone have have drink some water. Also, Vigor, um, I want to ask. Um, I did ask before this, but I think the stream cut off because it was connecting. Um, but I heard um, the last two, I think it's been quite a while, um, that there's a wildfire in Greece. Is it correct? In um, Alexandriopolis? Do you know any news about that? Especially since I heard that it is in Greece. You have wildfires. Oh. How how is it nowadays? Is it really is it an active threat or something that is well managed by your country? Nowadays it's calm, I see. Because I've heard like yesterday or is it this morning? I'm not sure. Um but I've heard that there's a a 6.8 magnitude of earthquake in Morocco. And the funny thing is that I heard about this is because of a picture of a man running out of his building carrying just his PS5. <laughs> That's really funny. You saw that too? <laughs> the only time I've heard about uh, an earthquake in Morocco is because of that man with his PS5. You learn that from a video where a guy talks with countries. Ooh, why the quotation there? Bigger. Also, I didn't read your uh, chat there. Um, okay, so you had extra weapon damage, extra courage damage, better chest, ten percent for blue heart when kill an enemy, favor, uh, further replenish faster. Uh, further replenish when they enter a fight room. Okay, that's really good for the one, the fleece that allows you to heal yourself. Extra attack speed and bomb when you roll and more. Because the countries are flags with faces. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, just send the link. Um, I mean. Hold on onto that link until I finish um, two two days in the game. We are on day three, and then we on day five in the game. I'm gonna ask to have a look at the video. Sounds good. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise I am getting uh too distracted. And not do my stream. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. What am I gonna do? So. Um. We should. Should be doing that. That. Man. Okay, the Komodo dragon is really fast, but have a really, really bad stamina. Interesting. And what is this? 
Holy shit. Okay. What is this? It requires a lot of coins. Oh! It's um, a mine. Okay. Interesting. I thought it was... Um... And what is this? Hello? Holy crap. Okay. Um... Okay, I basically have ran out of coins. So, what I am gonna do is go back. Um, but first, let me take this diamond. Take this diamond. Have a little bit of a rest. Then upgrade our camp. So that we have a basic protection. I am curious as to what is that huge tree stump looking stuff that is on the left hand side of the island. Okay, okay, you guys have really a lot of coins. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I should, I should give... Okay, nice. Um, a uh, question. How do you know which follower is against you? Because it said one... Is against you. Okay, in Call of the Lamb, if you have an active dissenter, um, let me see. The only way for me to do that is to have a look at your follower. Um, you can see from the follower list. Uh, if you, um. um I'm not sure if you are playing on mouse or on keyboard or on a controller but for me it is um, on the share button if I'm not mistaken and you can see from the follower list and if their eyes are red that means that they are dissenting you um, but other than that you play on keyboards okay then you might have to look at the key binding list and see the uh, option menu. The one that lists out um, what kind of items you have in your inventory. What kind of... What kind of... Um, how many followers you have in your cult. You can see the list from there. Uh, and then you have a look at your follower and see whether or not who have the red eye or better yet if you have the jail you can go to the jail directly and then um, have a look have a look at the list of followers and then you can simply jail them right then and there I think yeah, that's that's a much more elegant way to fix the problem. 
Go directly to the jail. You know, like that meme? Straight to jail. Oops. Okay. Now I need to have a look at what kind of things we have in this tree stump. <gasps> oh my god! Look at this cool mount. Is that a bug? It is a bug. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is horrifying. Oh my god, it's like a huge beetle. Oh my god. Okay, what kind of ability do you have, sir? Oh sh And what does it do again? Um interesting does it does it distract does it distract okay it is really fast i have to give this bug credit like really really fast okay No one is no one has red eyes or is angry. Can you um screenshot um um the info that says that your follower is against you? Something like that. I'm curious. I never had that kind of problem before. No, you can't. Oh, okay. Then I guess you you don't have to worry that much. I must say. Maybe because you didn't do the quest that they request. Something like that. And then that makes them angry, something like that. Oh, you rejected a quest, I see. Then you don't really have to worry that much. Your faith, faith meter might reduce a little bit, but basically you don't have to worry that much. Oh shoot! Uh-oh, uh-oh. I shouldn't I shouldn't have done that I still don't understand what is the function of the beetle excrement it must be something that I am missing okay why Someone puked a lot. Did you clean your cult figure? 
especially look at the toilet and see whether or not um, the lavatory are cleaned properly or not or something like that well loves you should you be afraid no of course not embrace embrace that he loves you with his open heart um okay so it is day five um yeah vigor um do you have what video that you want me to see about the country Okay, I get it. Okay, um, let me actually. I am gonna check something on my phone for a bit. Please bear with me. Okay, let me open up a browser again. Copy the link. Morocco earthquake. Okay. Morocco, what happened? Okay, um, let me do. Can I do this? Yeah, let's do this. Nope, this one. Okay, and then let's play the video. With you, a 6.8 magnitude earthquake today. Ah. What happened to the people there? Well, so far there are no casualties reported, but a lot of buildings were destroyed. I'm really sorry, 6.8? 6, 6 That's really strong! It really is, and a lot of, like, citizens had to evacuate. And evacuate with their belongings, right? I guess so. One guy <laughs> got his PS5 with him, but priorities, right? Well, he's got his priorities straight, but honestly, I really hope there are no casualties. I hope so, too. It was really, really scary. In Morocco, what happened with you? Okay. <laughs> oh, man, you got... <laughs> <laughs> you got the meme. You got to see the meme there. <laughs> yeah, that that is the guy that I'm talking about before. That the guy um, escape or evacuate from his house carrying only uh, his PS5. And then I also see another um, picture of a guy also in his 
um, pajamas and carrying his PC <laughs> priorities I, I guess um, I'm not sure if you guys are what is it like in first world country but for us in third world country those kind of stuff are really valuable and it is really expensive and difficult to obtain so it makes sense that some people would prioritize saving that item first um most probably because of how difficult it is to get and how expensive it is uh especially if the guy lives alone <laughs> and without any pets and what's whatsoever yeah i i get it i get it why they took his he took his ps5 with him okay um vigor if you god forbid this from happening but if something happened that you have to evacuate quickly what or who would you save first is it your pet bird or is it um your belongings something something curious to know because um i personally would um save my cat obviously i love my cat and then i would save my document uh i'm not sure what document um and then i would save i don't know because you can only carry a little bit of item at a time but you can always multitask so yeah i am gonna go with my uh my my actually my pc actually yeah my pc my pc official document and then my cat my phone that's it your dog your favorite parrot and then your phone and maybe pc oh <laughs> we had the same idea then <laughs> so yeah yeah you literally have to do save this important stuff right But I guess if you are, you live with someone that is um, not able to save themselves, then I guess I would um, drop all of my PC, something like that, and just go on with whatever that I can save. <laughs> hey, that's okay, Vigor. I, I know that you had some problem with your family. They are by themselves, except your grandma. You would help her and your cousin. Yeah, I know. I know some people had problem with their family, but that's okay. That's fair. That's fair, actually. But uh, for me personally, I had no beef with my family, and if I had to save, oh god, hi, Jartsa. <laughs> This funny topic make you open the stream. Oh no! <laughs> oh god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about you, Jartsa? What would you save if you had to evacuate at a moment's notice? What would you save? I'm curious to see what kind of response people would have. We were just talking about uh, people having, uh, in Morocco, there's an earthquake, a 6.8 magnitude earthquake, and this guy only had come out of his house with only his PS5. Your PC, for sure. <laughs> That's why you have a mid ATX PC tower. Oh, lucky you, lucky you. That is a very small form factor PC. Ooh, that's that's a good idea actually to have a small form factor PC makes it easier to carry 
it around. Also, I'm curious, what kind of graphics card do you have for your PC? Because uh, an ATX, I think, you are limited by the size of your case, right? Especially if you are using uh, a graphics card. Because nowadays, graphics cards are huge. Your PC is from 2001, so maybe you just save the disk drive since that what's have the save files. Okay. Hey, no worries, Vigor. My PC is a potato by itself. I still love it. It's just big enough to fit this 32cm long RTX card. Ooh. Okay. 32cm. Okay, I, get, I, I can see. I can see it. RTX what? What kind of RTX are you using? 10? 10 series or 20 series? Or are you one of those... Fancy people that are using 30 or 40 series. For you, uh, Vigor, for you to play Call of the Lamb, you need to reopen the game like four times for it to, pre to play properly. Oh, can't remember, maybe 2080. I see, I see. Okay, Jatsa, that's a good um, graphics card to have. <laughs> Much stronger than mine, actually. Nice, nice. Uh, what kind of game do you enjoy playing, by the way, Jatsa? Because I know that Vigor is enjoying playing Cult of the Lamb. Especially you have a 2080 card. You should be able to play a much more graphically intense game. For me personally, I love and uh, I love playing this game, Kingdom Hades, and oh man, if I had a much stronger PC, I would totally play Control. I love the aesthetic of Control. I managed to play just a few minutes of it on my PC, but the lag, even when I'm not streaming. The lag makes it not um, fun to play. Nothing that new or fancy, just some Assassin's Creed. Okay, Assassin's Creed. Is it S or Assassin's Creed? I've never played any Assassin's Creed. Funny enough, I heard a lot of great things about the game and how you manage to uh, the game managed to create a a realistic and also i'm not going to say historically accurate but there are some picture comparison between the place in game and real life location that bears a really nice resemblance especially in the let me see what what subreddit was I looking at? Um, is it? Uh, is, is it PC Masteries subreddit? Something like that. <laughs> but yeah, some um, some of the games that I would really love to play is. Control. Ooh, speaking of games, uh, open world game, I recently found a game. Actually, this is a blast from the past. I used to watch this um, YouTuber um, back in the days, uh, which is like 2012. It was when I was. Um, uh, I was 12 years old, I think. I don't remember that much. Is it 12 or is it 14? Uh, 
uh trying to remember what is the new youtuber's uh name the red bread i think he played a game called um prototype and i've been so i've been wanting to play that game so i might i might play that game on on stream someday have you heard about that game before jutsa Interesting. I've, I've, yeah, I've somehow remembered this YouTuber and the game looks interesting. I've never seen the game played from start to finish. His style of um, content was that he managed to do some editing, some snippet here and there. So you wouldn't get spoiled by it. Okay, so let's get back into the game, shall we? <laughs> I I get so distracted by stuff. Okay, what am I gonna do right now? We have this bug. Oh, interesting. Interesting that the bug was the one that is in the middle of the map. So that means I only need to free the man in the cage uh, to unlock a new monarch farm. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh... Hmm, interesting. What am I gonna do? Uh, I can't upgrade the castle wall just yet. The bug is not that... Oh man, I really want uh, to upgrade the castle walls. Oh wait, I don't have to worry that much because this is um, the day after the blood moon. So we should be able to do this without having to worry that much. Okay, so what are my goals right now? My goals right now is to expand. Oh shoot, okay. To expand as much as possible. Um, and then um, we only need to fully expand on the right side because that is where the pier is and our boat is gonna be. We also have the 
Um, the stone quarry update. Not, not update. What is it? Upgrade, not update. <laughs> okay. So, first thing first. I want to make that. Uh, let's have... A gardening, not gardening, farming area. Okay, good, good. Let's fully expand on the r right side. Interesting. Okay. I still need to fully upgrade my kingdom, kingdom walls, so that I can have access to the diamond store. Uh, bigger. You will spin the god to your wheel. Do you think you can get a golden? skull necklace um it depends how often do you get a, a gold necklace you didn't get it yet hmm interesting and how many times have you spin it oh you, oh okay you only have one and you didn't get it uh okay but that's okay bigger Trust me, when you're done, <laughs> you would be, you would be, uh, you would have excess of golden skull necklace. In the meantime, if your favorite spouse or character is dying, I would suggest you just Kill them and then resurrect them. That that much serve as a much better way to <laughs> to extend your longevity. At least your husband has one, <laughs> so he won't die. Lucky him. gonna do uh actually yeah I'm gonna do this oh shoot <laughs> what is up with that uh do you know a way you can farm grass um Actually, you can't farm grass. Uh, actually, no, you can. Um, you can go to the first portal door. Is it Anura? It's the one with Lashi. Lashi is the one um, portal door that leads to a lot of vegetation. Duckwood. Duckwood, that's the word. 
I always forgot the name. Anura is the second one. Anura is a good second place to farm grass. But I would suggest you only focus on uh, during your crusade, just spam your attack on every destructible item. And I think I think if you go into your into your cult, I'm not sure if there's a structure in your cult that, that can that can increase grass production. I think there is. There is. But I forgot which one. But no, that is composter. Composter convert grass into manure. You got a quest from Sacrifice Tree and he wants to fight Sacrifice 8. Let them fight. Let them fight. I would suggest let them fight. Since he won't to fight so he should be f able to fight sacrifice tree one whoa sacrifice tree is out for blood sacrifice tree doesn't give a damn if you lose or not he said i want to fight let me fight Oh shoot, okay. Oh. Ah. Okay. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I, <laughs> I didn't, um, I didn't pay attention and look at what had happened. Uh oh, okay, I need, I need a ton of. Builders. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Okay, that's <laughs> let's never do that again. Um you mean sacrifice tree is level five, six, seven, eight, level eight, and sacrifice eight is only level five. Interesting. So sacrifice tree is a bully then. My god. Sacrifice tree is fighting someone weaker than them knowingly and no wonder he won okay i don't have enough money to <laughs> to Fully upgrade the castle wall here, so that would have to do for now. I do want to spend on the forest, but that would have to do in the next day. You will go to Anura, you bet I can get a crazy run again. Mm, probably not, because uh, the game has this um, coding into it that 
prevents you from getting a godly weapon in such um, high frequency. That's just how the developers do with their game to make the stuff interesting. You mean you are okay with Vampiric too? Ooh. For sure, for sure. Okay, um... I do want to hire some... Farmers, but I don't see anything that can do that. Man, it is so foggy. As long as it's not hammer, that thing is slower than your first than your fist. Okay. <laughs> but I think you, you um you just have to get lucky. Sometimes all of the weapon that you get is the weapon that you are not comfortable using. And some days, some run, you will get like what you had just before, godly weapon. It really depends on your luck. Oh shoot, okay. Um I also want to expand on the left side here. Is it advisable to do that? Or sh I do want to get um Actually, actually, I'm gonna do this. Gonna hire some more hammer. And then, um, expand on that side. Hire this to people. Man, I hope you would give me a post where I can uh, get a farmer. You got Crusader's Sword? Ooh. I mean, if you are comfortable with Crusader's Sword. I personally would pref um, don't prefer Crusader Sword because it doesn't give any status effect to the enemy. Status effect, especially the one that poisons enemy, is really nice. Aw, oh, come on. You're giving me this? Not sure if that's a good thing or not. Comfortable with any with any sword, I see. Well, I hope you manage to do a no damage run. 
sorry, not no damage run, no damage the boss in your run so that you will get any additional resources from your run. Okay, this one is a, a, a pike shop. Lens. Is it lens? Or is it a pike? <gasps> A gardener, a gar gardener outpost. Uh, out of coins. Okay, interesting, so let's, let's have a look, shall we, on left side, sorry, not left side, right side. Hello? Why is it not eating? You already got two cards, more fervor from enemies and it slowly recovers. Ooh, nice, nice. Anything that recovers fervor is good. Ooh, I forgot. I need to save my diamonds. next I will release you from your prison after this and a chest dropped that tarot card that gives more attack speed nice nice okay um, also here's a question for you Vigor which do you prefer a status effect that deals poison or that can slow down enemies. It can be a curse or weapon. Which one do you prefer? Poison. Ooh. I personally would prefer weapon um, that slows down enemy. Most probably because my reaction time is trash and anything that allows me to slow down the enemy so that I can see with where they are moving so that I can have a look <laughs> at what is going on with the game. I guess poison is very good against bosses, huh? Because bosses are this huge creature that really demands your attention and having poison damage really does chip away at their health much quicker. Especially if you need to dodge all over the place. Interesting. Nice. Okay. Uh, they're up this. 
Okay, I... Do I want to release that guy from his prison? When we don't even have the option to change our monarch character. Hmm, I'm not even sure I'm I want to to do that. Oh yeah, in your crazy run, you, you got two rooms where you pray in a crown statue and had camellia flower around it. Um, um, that is the red crown statue. That means even if you die, um, you, you get to retain your resources. You know how when you die in mid run, you will lose some percentage of your resources right but if you pray in a crown statue the red crown statue you will retain all of your resources Ooh, a merciless sword from kudai Ooh. having additional critical attack chance that's good Shielded minions. Oh, right. You have to use a special attack to attack them. Uh huh. But I forgot. What is the special attack for a sword? I know dagger one is in a straight line. But I don't remember much else. He does a big ground hit. Aha, uh -huh, I see. I thought that was a hammer one? Apparently I'm I I might misremembering stuff. Oh yeah, I oh god. <laughs> I should Ooh. I can do that. Nice. Look at this. I am worried. Okay, we should expand on the right side here. Sorry, left side. God dang it. Left side here so that we can... Oh god, okay. Um, I'm sorry, I have to sacrifice you guys. I'm so sorry. We didn't have the catapult. We should be... We should have a catapult by now. This is really, really bad.
We also need to increase our defenses on this wall. At least we have to improve on the defense on this part. Still a little bit worried because we don't have the option to get a catapult and the option to change our monarch character. Oh, speaking of catapult, there we go. Catapult. Nice. Okay, now we just have to go. First boss, Gushin, is down, Vigor. Nice. Uh, let's get a catapult on this side. Nice. Now all we have to do is wait. The music is really haunting. Oh shoot! Oh no! No! What happened? What is going on here? How is that possible? Thing. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay, what am I gonna do right now? We are fucked. Okay, okay. This is not a time for me to chip out. Well, butt worm doesn't doesn't do much damage, huh? Okay, interesting. He didn't get a lot of progress done on this day. Which is concerning.
You already have seven. No, eight tarot cards. Woo. Nice. You're quite lucky, huh, Vigor? You're getting quite a lot of uh, tarot card already. gonna do I'm lucky right now that the that the walls can be saved but I'm worried that our defenses is weakened That means we have lost our all of our knight on the right side. Oh, okay. Ooh, you got a relic that gives you damage or decrease heart. Okay. Sounds like a reasonable uh, exchange. Okay, let's let's just fully upgrade the wall. I'm not taking any chances right now. Have you unlocked all of the relics so far, Vigor? Because I personally haven't unlocked all of them. There are certain things that I literally don't know how to unlock. There are certain stuff that I literally don't know how to unlock in that game and I refuse to look at a guide <laughs> maybe maybe that's just um, my style of playing huh if a game that I am playing um, privately maybe I would but for a game that I want to stream on I would prefer to s to stay away from guides and walk through because that's the whole fun of it, right? Watching me struggle. 10 tarot cards. Ooh. Nice, nice. of stuff okay first thing first I need to save some money for my coffers
And then let's buy some arrows. Sorry, not arrows. Um, archers. We have a ton of builders, so I don't really need to be worried about that. For now, that is. Let me tell you which card you have, Vigor. Ooh, yes, please do. Just is good. so much money oh no I should have I should have done that okay, that that is really stupid of me okay um, I will read that message in just a bit I need to do something about this. While we wait for the knight to come in, let's have a read at what kind of tarot card that Vigor have. <clears throat> Enemies drop two times fervor. Fervor will slowly replenish. 1.5 second cooldown. 1.25 times attack speed. Fervor replenish when you enter a room. First damage increased by 1.5. Ooh. Yes, that's good. Weapon damage increased by 1.2. First consume less fervor. 10% critical damage. Deal da poison damage. And 20% chance to gain a half blue heart when killing enemies. Ooh, you get an epic card for the blue heart. Half blue heart. Nice. And you also change your weapon to Zealous Axe. Nice. But I thought you don't prefer to use a heavy, slow weapon. Or do you specifically do not like using the hammer? In which case you are okay with other... Weapons such as the axe. I think the axe is 0 0.5. The attack rate is 0 0.5. And the axe is 0 
I mean, it's more damage and you have more attack speed. So, that's true. You got compensated by the 1.25 times attack speed. So, that can easily recover back your offset the slowness of the axe. our coin from our farmers Okay, since we have a lot of time, we should play up the forest here a little bit. Always laugh at the butt worm produced by the beetle. You got a god tier to your shrine and you are still at your crusade. Ooh. No worries. Always, always prioritize your crusade because you get a lot more resources out of that. God tiers can be a little bit of a gamble. Either you win big or you don't. Especially from the question mark um, entity. Interesting. Okay, it's not a blood moon night, but it is almost day twenty eight. Sorry, 27. What am I saying? I can't even read that. It's day 14. <laughs> uh, it's not day 14. It's day 16. Right? On the map here? I... Why... Why did I do this to myself? When I know I can't read 
I think I think so. I can't read no more numerals. <laughs> back into nice you went to the spider that sells follower and he has a good sale 100% off hey if you get a follower for 100% off you best know that he or she or them are gonna have a problem in your cult later. It's either one, they are old, or two, they are gonna descend in your cult. Or they are gonna be sick. <laughs> it's either one of those. You always have a price to pay. He was old. Oh, I see. Hey, that's okay. You can sacrifice them. <laughs> sacrifice the old people and get some resources out of that. Okay. Uh. Okay. Hello, Santa. Hello, hello. How are you? How's your week? Oh no, Leshy is starving! Wait, okay, by the way, Vigor, did you know that you can pause um, the progression of the day when you are on a crusade? That is a cool look, uh, interesting looking mount, it is. It is a huge beetle. And look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it poops. Worm. <laughs> and it hurts enemy. Yeah, you know, but you feel like it's a cheat. Eh. It's more like an access accessibility option. That means you don't have to stress out when you are on a crusade. Santa, are you good? Uh, just today you are tired and annoyed with everything for some reason. I getcha, I getcha. We all have those days. But that's okay. I hope that you had... You are gonna have a wonderful weekend, and you got plenty of rest. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I know! But so far, this is the best mount that we have. Golf tarot card. Ooh, you're getting much more... A lot more... Um, tarot card. Uh, we also, um, let me see. Oh shoot, okay, I'm... Okay, there is another mount. It's not shown here, but there is another mount that is very cool looking. I wish I could show it to you, Santa. But it is a really cool horn mount. It's almost like a unicorn, but it's not a unicorn. Really cool. And its special move is that um, it charges into the enemy and kill them. A 
Okay, you know what? We are gonna go... Then our night. You just had to visit three stores and you couldn't find rice wine vinegar. Oh no. Are you planning to make um, sushi, Santa? Have you tried um, looking at an Asian grocery store? Ooh, you got a 13th arrow card bigger. Ooh. Fried noodles with self-made sauce. Now you're just trying to mix in oyster sauce and see how it works from that. Ooh, okay. The key to cooking Asian food is that, um, yes, if you had uh, oyster sauce, oyster sauce is one of the secret sauce, I say in air quote, because a lot of Asians do cook with a lot of um, oyster sauce, but I I see that certain Westerners or yeah, Westerners really don't use a lot of oyster sauce in their cooking. I'm not sure why. Is it that? Is it because it's hard to get? Because oyster sauce is really delicious. If you are making a stir fry, you can put a little bit, a dash of oyster sauce to bring that um, complex flavor out. Crusade is done. Well, congratulations to you, Vigor. Did you manage to no damage the boss? Also, um, one of my favorite way to marinate any kind of protein is that by grating ginger and garlic together, mix in with some oyster sauce, and then you can use that as a base marinade. Um, some people love to put honey to make a teriyaki base marinade, um, but I personally like to pan fry my protein. And by adding honey, um, I find that it usually um, scorch my protein because of the high sugar content of honey so I usually omit it myself Paul and Leshy are starving oh no well I hope that you can feed them no one likes a dead cult because they are starving Oh my god, I'm not looking to write you. Okay. <laughs> Your new follower is Santa. Oh. That's cute. <laughs> to come up, uh, to celebrate Santa being present in the chat. 
Yo, the chest nerd. Uh, hello, hello, and welcome. It is a damn beetle. <laughs> I am just as shocked as you to to see that this huge beetle is available as a mount in this game. And look, look at this. <laughs> it poops out live worms. <laughs> and thankfully, thankfully that this worm hurts the enemy and not you. Well, it hurts you in way it hurts you mentally to look at that. Nice. And let's clear up this forest. Uh but the man-made horrors beyond your imagination are these. Um, it's... Uh, this is a game called Kingdom to Crowns. And we are currently playing um, the... Deadlands... Uh, yeah, De Deadlands DLC. There's a lot of cool mount in this game, actually. Uh, let me show you. This is just what's available in this DLC we have a Komodo dragon we have this oh this is this is a cool mount it's it looks cool it's like um and ant ENT where it is a tree based mount with skeleton really cool and its special ability is the ability to make um, tree wall to provide additional protection from enemies attack what happened to Groot? <laughs> he got turned into a horse he didn't he didn't do his job correctly. That's what happened to him. Vigor, <laughs> uh, uh. Hackett's love you, you what? Uh you like ginger with your soup, Santa. Make them real fresh and brisk if you can use this word. Yeah, ginger does help cut the fattiness and add a little bit of a spiciness to your dish. Um, at what point would you add the oyster sauce at the end of phase of frying? Okay, um, a lot of the time when you are cooking Asian dishes is that um, you have to be quick. A lot of the time, um, me personally, I would choose to put the oyster sauce um, shortly before I put my, um, for example, um, I am stir frying bok choy. Um, I would stir fry the garlic and onion first. So that uh, they have a little bit of a color and then I would add um, for me personally I would put um, some dried um, dried shrimp that has been cut into small pieces and stir fry that and then afterwards I would put the oyster sauce and then lightly fry it for a little bit not a long time and then put immediately put 
the bok choy into the pan, stir fry it for like less than a minute just until it starts to wilt and then you took it off the heat and transfer it into a dish because if you put it into a hot wok the, the vegetables would continue on cooking and continue on wilting but that's just my personal um, cooking style I know it depends on um, just how hot your stove can be I know that some um, some people have those electric coil for their stove and that's not exactly the same as the kind of stove that most Asian people would use um, most Asian cooking rely on gas but I see nowadays that people are relying on uh, induction cooking. Induction cooking can be a really close alternative to gas cooking. Mostly because um, if you are cooking with um, heating coil, heating coil can be um, a little bit less intense source of heat. So most of the time you have to cook it uh, a, a longer time in order to get the same effect if you are cooking with gas something like that you was thinking yes you have induction ooh nice yeah induction can be really good I've tried induction and it is really good uh, if you especially if you compare to cooking using um, coil man cooking with coil really <laughs> really requires patience because a lot of the time those coil doesn't heat up um, as hot and you you have to really keep an eye on what you are cooking Bigger, uh, Balf again told you he loves you and you got scared. Oh no! Accept it! Accept it, Vigor! Open your heart! Let him love you! <laughs> Just gotta put your mushroom first because they need to get rid of a lot of moisture. Usually you, put, you would put onion after the water starts coming out of the shroom. Aha! Um, I'm just curious, what kind of mushroom are you using? Are you using port portabello? Or are you using um, brown mushroom? <laughs> Hell no, my heart belongs to the blackbird and shamura. Wait, wh who is the blackbird? One of your follower? In the cult? What in the why are the clouds blood red? Ooh, you wanna know why? It's because we are under attack. <laughs> I'm a coward. Ah, oh, you, you just <laughs> you just missed it. Um, yeah, basically when you see a blood moon, um, it's basically the monsters are attacking your castle walls at um. At full force basically and you have to defend it so this game is basically a tower defense game so you have to strategize your resources what kind of um, what kind of units you have on your hand how many of them are active at a given time and if you are not careful you would get a game over. It's really fun. I promise you, it's really fun. I've been enjoying this game since um, I start streaming. <laughs> like, like um, some people, I can understand not liking 
this kind of strategy game. But for me, personally, I love it. Mostly because of the cool visuals that you get to see. And also... Uh, the amount of... The, the atmosphere in this game is really calming for me. Can you get soft lock in this game? No. It's either you win or you lose. So, okay. Um, for example, if you have this, you see this wall, right? Um, if you provoke the enemy too much and the wall crumbles, um, your forces would get attacked by the monsters and first they would lose your weapon and then when they got attacked the second time they would lose your personal money and return back to beggars and and then when you have beggars in your camp you basically don't have any um, units in your in your kingdom so this one is your unit you can hire unit or beggars to work in your kingdom to be either one archer unit for example here you can buy archer unit or you can buy knights or you can buy builders builders function to fix the walls to act as a to man the catapult and what else i feel like i'm forgetting something oh also you can have a lance character unit in your kingdom so basically all those unit needs to work they need to work in tandem with each other um because once once um for example, if you got attack and you lose all of your wall, then you basically have no place to hide. And the goal of this game is to retain your crown. If you see from this character, um, they have a crown on their head. <laughs> if you lose that crown, it's basically game over. So, you don't even have to lose all of your walls. If you, for example, go into the wilderness here and you get attacked by the monsters, for example here, let me show you an example. Okay, you see how I lose money there? That's because I have a coin purse full of coin. So basically that acts as a buffer uh, But if I don't have any coins in my coin purse uh, You would lose your crown and if those monsters Manage to grab hold of your crown It's basically game over uh, Yes, our king lost his crown now he's not the king <laughs> um okay um ooh santa self big chanterelles ooh not perhaps the best option for this because they are delicate tastes <laughs> i know but gotta use them somehow ooh man uh you also have a little bit of um oh no how how do you pronounce that Tupi Lava Zero But you have no idea what's that in English <laughs> uh, Yellow food or Craterellus It seems uh -huh. Ooh, wait Chanterelles Isn't that um, the golden looking mushroom? Or am I, am I mis... Identifying the mushroom. 
I heard chanterelles are really good um, in cream of mushroom. It's golden. Aha. Uh -huh. So I was correct. I am correct. <laughs> Why am I saying it in a past tense? Also, um, if you are um, back to the stir fry, when, once you pick in Red Dead Redemption as well. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Um, speaking of stir fry, right? Uh, if you have a mushroom, uh, let's say Portobello or brown mushroom or oyster mushroom, um, and you are doing a stir fry, right? Um, what I would do is, um, first of all, you sweat off the excess moisture from the mushroom and then set it aside and then you stir fry the onion and garlic separately <laughs> because uh, if you put um, if you put the mushroom first and then sweat it off and then you put the garlic and onion to stir fry you won't get as much browning or caramelization from the stir frying process because you have this excess moisture right what i would suggest is that you stir fry or saute the mushroom first uh, and then set it aside on a different plate and then heat up the pan again and then stir fry uh, garlic and onion that way you get uh, the maximum amount of flavor and also also okay why yeah you can you can do that or you can also stir fry the garlic and onion first and then put the mushroom and then sweat it off like that it also it all depends on your cooking style actually for me i would prefer to do it the first the first method but um, for some people it is much convenient to do the second method which is to stir fry the garlic first garlic and onion and then stir fry the mushroom that way you don't have to dirty your dishes Ooh, I'm not sure if you already uh, if you or uh, if you had this before, but if you know how to make tempura better, <laughs> I would suggest you uh, deep fry some tempura, uh, deep fry some oyster mushroom in tempura batter. Oh man, that is so heavenly. Ooh, and also um, those. Oh, I'm trying to remember what is the Japanese name for this, but it is basically shredded carrot and other root vegetables. Um, they coat it in a light coating of tempura batter, and they fried it in this perfectly circular um, disc, and it they. They are crispy enough um, in such a way that the outer coating is crispy but it is really soft not soft in in such a way it is mushy but soft enough that it's not raw especially since we are talking about carrots here Whoa, you are doing purgatory figure? Nice. I personally haven't tried purgatory yet.
I always got so excited when talking about food and cooking style. Purgatory is a god tier farm basically. Yes, I do, I do, I do know about that, but I don't, I don't really feel the need to do that because, I don't know, <laughs> it's much more fun to do a crusade. Also, by the way, how many followers you have in your, in your cult? You're also growing your own mushroom, yo! Harvest looks surprisingly good. Yes. Ooh. Oh, 15. Oh, I see, Vigor. Well. When you have a lot more followers in your cult, then you would not need to have to do the purgatory run. Because um, your statue, your main statue in your cult would generate a lot of um, faith point so much quicker what kind of okay um, um, Santa what kind of mushroom are you growing man I would love to grow mushroom on my own but I literally don't have the space for it But I did, I did have the opportunity to eat fresh oyster mushroom. Oh man, those, they taste so lovely. Okay, what, what am I, what am I doing here? <laughs> okay, um, so here's the plan. We are gonna go to actually clear up this forest. Clear up this forest. Um, is there any lore for the ruins or palaces in the background? Oh, there is no lore actually, or at least none that I know of. They are basically just cool looking set pieces and I love it in the first island there are two beautiful statue one is of a demon demon lady and then one is a who is it uh, an angel I'm not even sure if it's an angel or something but it's supposed to show the the demon and angel duality. Really cool. And okay. Anta, you have tried oyster mushroom in coffee grounds uh, and in wood, but neither work very well. You've only had a few singular mushroom, but but uh koi vulcantosieni? In a butch stump is doing good. Ooh, sounds fancy. Um, the the kit that was sold in my country all have to use um, cocoa peat. Do you, uh, do you know about cocoa peat, Santa? Uh, it is a growing medium made out of um, the waste product from coconut husk um, and they compress it into this bag uh, and then keep moist and they also inoculate it with the mushroom spores and then they just let it grow Yeah, good with orchids. Ooh, I never take take care of orchids before, so I'm not sure if it's really good with it. Man, I have a lot of coins.
that's one way <laughs> that's one way to get my attention is by talking about either food cuisine or cooking style so on like that <laughs> Ooh, how do you pronounce that? Quenromyces mutabilis or seated, cheated wood tough is the name apparently. Oh, interesting. I definitely have gonna have a look at that. Good. Okay. Okay. Um. Is it prevalent to have um, in your country to have um, those oyster? Sorry, not oyster. <laughs> those mushroom growing growing kit because it is really prevalent in my country. So much so that a lot of a lot of people already make it their own business selling growing kit. Oh gosh, oh no, what happened to you, Vigor? What's wrong? Okay. <laughs> B O B B zero B Bob, a follower wants to marry you. Oh no. What will happen if you reject? You will lose your faith point. Well, there's a couple businesses that sell growing kits. You've only met one person who also tried those. Uh huh. Yeah, I actually love mushroom. Mushroom should be more widespread. Ooh, also, um, some people have been growing shimeji mushroom. Ooh, shimeji mushroom is good if you are uh if you prefer hot pots shimeji mushroom is good but i guess some people really don't like uh, uh shimeji mushroom because of how filamentous it is You couldn't say no. Oh no, bigger. <laughs> well, that's okay. You could always sacrifice your non-favorite, <laughs> non-favorite spouse, right? But um, but he was really into it. You met him while working at this folk festival, and he basically. Built the fridge with shroom and growing shrooms, and I bet some of them were magic mushroom. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, is it legal? I know some places are legal to grow them, but some places are really, um, really uh, strict about. How and who can grow them? No, hell no, I am not cold-blooded to sacrifice someone who is married to you. Hey! You do you, I guess, Vigor. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are married to me in your in my cult... <laughs> if I... If I am able to... Sacrifice you, I would. You are an all-powerful god, figure. Remember that you can always resurrect them. <laughs> Just sacrifice them, get resources, and then resurrect them back. It's simple. It's a win-win situation. <laughs> 
it's not legal which to me is so weird when it's just growing in the wild on its own can't make nature illegal i think i think growing uh growing it is not illegal but the distribution of it is illegal right that's the official clause that i heard it's the same um it's the same way as cannabis um um cannabis is something that is that can be grown naturally but some people farm cannabis um and then they extract the cannabis to make it into <laughs> uh, to smoke them which um in the olden days uh people would use um cannabis as a as a way to manage their pain basically and but some people um tend do tend to abuse the substance so i get why the regulation is there but at the same time the regulation makes it really hard for people to take natural remedy and natural pain management stuff. Why can't I hire people from this hut? What? Interesting. Here, just having them is enough for possess possession charge. Ooh, I know how you feel. Wait, is cannabis legal in your guys' country? But for uh, for me, in my country, it is illegal to have. But funny enough, uh, we might not have cannabis uh, we do have um, a plant uh, a natural plant a native native one that has been growing in our land in our country um, I'm not sure what it's called in English because it is native here um, <laughs> but we call it uh, ketum k-e-t-u-m bigger how is it a win-win oh you gotta go okay thank you for dropping by okay bigger and i'm so sorry about at the start of the stream <laughs> all of the blunder going on in the beginning sorry about that and thank you for <laughs> thank you for uh putting up with my antics Fully illegal here in your country center. Ooh. Um, but recently I heard that, that um, there are some people that has been looking into legalizing cannabis. Especially for those um, those that are looking for uh from the medicinal side of cannabis but yeah i i personally um not that um not that uh, really into cannabis but I know some people really rely on cannabis to manage their pain and to just have a good time. It's a recreational, it can be used as a recreational substance. And also, um, speaking of mushroom, right? Um, they should 
they should um, legalize those substance from the magic shroom because have you seen the study that um, psilocybin I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly psilocybin has been um, researched to have a good uh, my god what are you what are you doing hello to have a good um, effect on your brain and I'm not sure why they would um, try to uh, make it an offense to get a treatment that can potentially help you deal with um, for example depression and so on and so on not like other drugs do not have any side effect or anything like that so the more option you have it's better right Okay, what am I gonna do here? I keep forgetting. Okay, so there are a total of six portal. Three of them is on this side, on the left side, and on the right side too. Okay, so um, here's what we are gonna do. Come on, absorb back the coin. You know what? Ooh, okay. Um, it is a blood moon, blood moon night. Okay, so here's what we are gonna do. Can we? No, we can't. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Actually, no. Um, after... Let's start with... After the Blood Moon, we are gonna go out for a crusade. Then... Not crusade. What am I talking about? <laughs> it's all about. Uh, I keep thinking about Call of the Lamb because of vigor. <laughs> okay. Um, I should be expanding on the left side, right now. Oof, okay. There's a lot of lag in there for a bit. Okay, we just need to prepare for the blood moon that we are gonna face tonight.
blood moon looks really cool in the background there but too bad the cloud is covering up all of the awesomeness that there's no monsters attacking us is it because we are so far away I think so and we are so far away Okay. Hmm, interesting. What am I supposed to do right now? You can't expand on the right side here because we don't have any free uh, mount M O U N D that we can use to act. Uh, as a barrier starting point okay you know what I'm just gonna send my knights out Am I gonna regret this? Probably, probably. But hey, if you don't, you don't take any risk. There's no glory to it. Speaking of glory, ah, uh, what is the point of? this hermit is it the baker or is it something else i'm guessing it's the baker huh oh there is one okay uh whoa you guys have a lot of coins Too much. Oops. Okay, whatever. Um Interesting. are so deep into the forest come on you can do this really good we're making progress we're making quick progress here um, our huge beetle here is <laughs> is struggling as you can see You know, the way that this um, beetle is panting is really reminiscent of... 
of uh, chil um, children, kids that wear those squeaky uh, shoes. <laughs> it really reminds me of that. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm really worried about my knights. Are you doing okay? You know, we have a lot of coins, so why not? Oh, shoot! Um... 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 Uh-oh... 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 The monsters are moving quickly! Uh-oh... 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 Okay, you guys... Go back inside. What the heck is wrong with you guys? Hello? You guys have a death wish. You guys really have a death wish. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. What are you doing? There's a perfect weapon here. Am I gonna regret this? The blood moon doesn't sub didn't subside. Oh no, don't tell me we are having problem on the right, uh, sorry, left side. Am I... Am I gonna do that? You know what, no, I'm just gonna focus on the right side for now. Okay, so... I was worried for a bit there, but worried no more. We managed to survive that onslaught. Um, hello? What are you doing, ghost? I have a matter, a pressing matter that I need to do. Just like that, the ghost is gone. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Can they finish this 
before the monsters come. The answer is... They can! Nice. Is such a long way away. It's interesting that we didn't get the option to change our monarch character. <gasps> oh. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. I always wanted this. I forgot about this. Nice. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Listen to that. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Okay, I still need to hire some builders. Uh, sorry, not builders. Um, um, knights. I need to hire some knights. Hello, the ghost is there again. Are you going? Then here. A wise ruler stack the coffers. I already did ghost. Hello? That's it, huh? Interesting. Okay, so I am gonna Hire two knights. Oh shoot, okay. You guys have a lot of coin. You know what? Since we have a lot of coin, I should... Uh... To just... Proceed on with doing whatever I have to do. Let's hire some more. Some more archers. What are you doing, my god? Interesting. Okay, so now the strategy is to ooh, look at the background there.
clear night. I at least wanted to finish all of, uh, not all, but at least destroy most of the portal on this island. Oh. Oh, this hermit allows me to have additional knights. Okay, that's really nice. You no. Know. Oh shoot, I forgot. Okay. Um Okay. In order for me to destroy all of the monsters portal, I need to have a knight. At least two knights. Interesting that there's no new followers or refugees that I can hire. Okay, that's okay. We are just gonna proceed on. Okay, we have fully upgraded our knights. Just need to give them appropriate compensation. Then we can send them to their... Not demise, but to their... To their services. Man, they they take a lot of coins, huh?
Oof, you guys have a lot of coin. So this time it is gonna be quite a gamble. So, you should only be having one more. Oh, okay. only have one which is the final one so close totally doable on this stream okay uh hopefully i am not that cocky has food you are happy oh what kind of food are you are you using uh are you making a soup or stir fry using the chanterelle mushroom oh, oh okay sorry <laughs> i have a very short attention span you made the fried noodles, nice. Enjoy the food, okay? Sounds delicious. Oh! Interesting. The Blood Moon has already passed. Okay, I was thinking of sending them, um, sending them out just now, but it's not necessary, I guess. Uh, it maybe slip a bit on the spice side, but it doesn't matter. You like it hot. Ooh, you like it spicy. I personally love spicy food, but <laughs> um, I used to eat a lot of spicy food um, a few years back, but nowadays I tend to not eat that much of a spicy food, mainly because um, uh, <laughs> I am doing uh, making food for my business and I don't want I don't want my heat tolerance, spice tolerance to become of a hindrance for my final product. <laughs> if that makes sense. Ooh, also Thai food. I love Thai food. Especially glass noodle, glass noodle dish. 
um, stir fry glass noodle, but unsen. Oh man, that is delicious. Uh, what else? Ooh, day 100? Sorry, day 99. Okay, interesting. Almost day 100. Man, this is the furthest we've ever been in a single monarch without dying. Hello? That just gonna show that just how much uh, you need to know the inside and out of this game in order for you to to do well it is a necessary experience to fail in the first save file and then we had some some um some win although at a lower difficulty but a necessary learning curve if you want to succeed almost every food you make you put garlic and chili at least a little yes yes garlic should be in all dishes did you know that some people <laughs> I found this really funny. They would take a clove of garlic and then they would uh, smear, like take a slice of garlic and then just rub onto the cooking plate. Sorry, not cooking plate. Uh, the plate they are going to eat. And then that's it. That's their garlic. They don't even put garlic slices or chopped garlic in their during their cooking they just use a rub on garlic on their plate and they said that that is enough to have a garlic taste for your dish like how is that possible ball in your cult is broken <laughs> he has told you he loves you seven times today oh well that's because he wants you to accept him bigger accept him and you'll be happier okay this is untenable accept ball I am... I might be a little bit too bold. guys need to do this as quickly as possible I know that you guys can do it yes oh my god yes I'm so happy yes <laughs> it's mad <laughs> You think that we had this discussion at some point already? <laughs> That's just how mad I am at that at that people that only rub on garlic onto their plate. That's how mad I am. Also, you made a second farm. Ooh, yes, yes. The more food you have, the better. Bigger. Yeah, I I am irrationally mad at people that only put like what? Uh 
a rub on garlic in their food. That is really disrespectful. <laughs> Also, I know that some people are allergic to garlic, but that that kind of stuff is acceptable if you have allergies, but it is not acceptable if you don't. I've heard um, one of the excuses that they gave is that they can't stand the pungent taste of garlic. Like, if you cook garlic correctly, you shouldn't taste the pungentness. Do people think that if you eat raw garlic, that's the final flavor you're gonna get after cooking it? Hey, even, even, even raw garlic has its uses in the culinary world. <laughs> yeah, some people are really... <laughs> I want to say psycho, but psycho is a little bit harsh. Uh, a little bit... Uh, I want to say... Um, uh, conservative with their flavor. Some people are just too afraid of flavor, I guess. Okay, so speaking of um, flavor, <laughs> uh, I think we have. Um, reach our our goals for today in this stream which is to destroy uh destroy the portal and create create a lighthouse for this island so in the next stream next week i am gonna go and destroy the main monster portal that is on the left side here and what else and if possible uh, we are gonna continue on defeating all of the wish lighthouse were worth anything in campaign mode by the way Garrett Zruin hello and welcome um, also, um, campaign mode, huh? Oh. Yeah, I never tried campaign mode, huh? Maybe I should in the, after I've defeated this save file. That's good to know. That the, sa <laughs> that the lighthouse doesn't bring any benefit in the campaign mode. Thank you for the tip. I know now what to expect. In the campaign mode. Um, uh, what's the campaign mode? Um, wait. Is it campaign mode or challenge island? Looks like the I'm playing one right now. Wait, what's the difference? <laughs> you would have a challenge icon instead of a map if it wasn't. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I guess I am in a campaign mode. Wait, what do you mean by... <laughs> Lighthouse were worth anything in campaign mode. It does. It does have value in... 
in that you can return to an island without having to rebuild your boat, right? I think that's the main benefit of the lighthouse. <laughs> Difference is you might have to pay attention for once. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Um, uh, the other chestnut, um, what's the, the camping mode? Uh, as, yeah, as Garrett Zerwin just said, I am playing in one. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Uh, um, but why bother claiming lighthouse if for same effort you win the island and never come back? I think you... In these cases, um, I think you need to come back, right? You need to come back to the island. For example, when you first start, you only need to... Uh, you only have the option to... Wait. Okay, on the first island, you don't even have the option to destroy the monster portal that leads to the lighthouse, right? And then the second one, you had the option to do that because you unlock the stone quarry. And that allows you to build a bigger castle and hire knights. And then you can... This is the first island that you can have a lighthouse in the second, in the second island. Uh, I think, I think, yeah. For the fourth island, it is the, I think it is the copper mine that allows you to permanently destroy the monster, main monster portal that allows you to complete that land. So you need to go back to the island, right? But I guess, yeah, you could you just use the money from the coffers to rebuild the ship, but I don't know. <laughs> Confused Uga Booga. <laughs> I, I swear, it's not as uh, complicated as I make it sound like. Uh, uh okay. Uh... Do not fear not having having any of the boost statue. <laughs> you only come back to island one for boost, but ship is free there. I see. You don't need to pay 120 coins for part. Oh, okay, that's right. Because you are uh, that is basically the tutorial island. So you get a lot of parts for free. By the time you come back, um, um, from ship, front ship is waiting. E. Are the counters to the side, uh, the destroyed walls or the still standing walls? Um. Uh. Okay. Um. The portal one is how many monster portals are still active. The the mini one. And I think I think the one below it is how many structures that needs to be repaired? Question mark? I actually do not know what is supposed to be mean random in your experience unless there are no side anymore i see okay interesting because um before i uh, before this i went from island one island two and then i go back to island one to get um the statue um the archer statue and the war horse are quote. I'm not sure if that's the right name for it. 
and then we go to island 3 and then we are currently on island 4 uh -huh, interesting uh oh that's a decay counter i see thing so the more the longer i leave uh an island the higher the decay counter is if it reaches 20 and you come back the metal walls will be destroyed oh it won't come back to a totally decayed island actually in my previous save file i did <laughs> i did neglect uh island tree for such a long time that i get an achievement for it <laughs> interesting uh if you have something to do then like win the game or unlock something you care about then yeah i see well <clears throat> i don't really care about decaying walls or anything like that because it literally took such a short amount of time to fix the wall so eh it doesn't matter anyway um but yeah we we so far managed to create a lighthouse on all of the four island although island tree i should have spent a little bit of more time and create um a much more upgraded a uh, lighthouse for it but island 4 has been fully upgraded so that's good and on the next stream i should i should finish up island 1 2 and 3 but before that i need to destroy the main portal here and then unlock oh by the way garrett um do you know based on the silhouette what is um uh, the one that i should unlock on top of the komodo dragon i know it's supposed to be this dude but do you know what their ability is um where is it i'm too slow okay do you know what is the ability for this monarch? I mean right now I'm I'm using the Dracula Dracula version that allows you to turn into a bat. I've already unlocked the demon lady that has a whip and then the ice king that shoots icicle and slows enemy. Let's you recruit more than four leaders. Oh. Well, that sounds boring. <laughs> I prefer the Dracula one. It allows you to escape much more reliably and much quicker too. I guess it's, uh, it's different from your biome then. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, this is not a hermit. Um, what? Um, wait. Uh, if you can see from this map, um, the hermit is the one, is the short guy on the lower left hand corner there. But the one that is on the top of the map there, on top of the Komodo dragon, is supposed to be this guy. But I'm not sure what. The ideal is. I know that um, the hermit that you are talking about is from this. This hermit will allow me to get another knight. But I'm not sure about this. Oh, you did not play this biome, so no idea. Oh, no worries then. I guess I just have to explore and experience it myself. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, oh man, uh, it's almost 12 o'clock where I am. 12 o'clock in, <laughs> in the morning, midnight. 
Um, and I should go to sleep. Um, thank you so much for watching, actually. <laughs> and uh, if you are enjoying this playthrough of Kingdom, um, stick around. Maybe stick around and next week I'm going to play the same game again and try to finish up all the loose end before we go on and defeat the fifth island um yeah um also <laughs> at the beginning of the stream i did um have some hiccup because i was showcasing my um live 2d model <laughs> but apparently my pc is not strong enough for me to use a live 2d model and also play a game and stream at the same cup same time <laughs> i just read what um uh, garrett just wrote uber uber cup <laughs> um so yeah i am gonna try and cup is too strong for you oh <laughs> i'm 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 gonna try and do uh, a png Tuber, which is using a PNG or uh, GIFs in animated and use that as my VTuber model, if that makes sense. And yeah, also, I'm not sure if I had the model up. Oh man, I, I, I'm not even... I'm not even gonna try and do that just if you are interested what my model look like um, you can look at the first thought for today and have a look that uh, at that because it it crashes multiple time during this today's stream <laughs> okay um, yeah thank you so much for watching uh okay um i want to say thank you to santa uh garrett the other chess nerd and also to vigor for dropping by on my stream i really do appreciate you guys for coming and dropping by on my stream and accompanying me on today's stream and watching me <laughs> struggle with this game Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next stream. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for the cooking tips. Hey, no worries, Santa. I was I had a love a lovely time talking about all about cooking methods and all that. <laughs> Have a nice weekend everyone. Goodbye.